Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we're back in the fish room and it's not a mega tank video. No, mega tank is going fine for once. All the fish are in it, all the fish are happy, no leaks, no problems. Still some tidying up to do, but yeah, everything's fine. Today we're actually going to be doing some work in the fish room, but not on this side. So this is the usual side you see, I spin you around. Got all my racks of tanks. We've got mega tank, we've got extra racks of tanks down here. And that's great, but what we're going to do is talk about what's on the other side. Whoosh. So normally this is where the fish room ends. I've got these thermal curtains which close off and keep the heat in and keep all the tanks on that side nice and warm. But I'm going to extend into this space. So you might have seen this before where I've got this tank which I've used as a, an overflow when we had the leaky mega tank. I put the bigger fish in here. But we've got this nice space that I'm going to extend into and make it my office. So I've kind of got this space that if the fish room ends here normally, there's another eight, nine foot this way and then another eight, nine foot this way. And my plan is I'm going to keep this tank here, but we're going to move this tank round here and have a desk here. So I can do my normal day to day job from the desk here and have all the fish tanks behind me. I can do my live streams, everything. We can look at all the tanks. I can spend more time in here, do all the things that I wanted to do. If you've been following the channel for a while, I did have a temporary office space set up down here. This is just to make it a little bit more comfortable a little bit more organized. So if I spin this round, essentially the plan here is to frame out a wall here and put a door. I've got this big Kingspan insulation here, which I'm gonna use inside there to just seal off this area, and make it even more effective for retaining heat in here because I have other plans to sort out afterwards. But today's job is get this frame built, door installed, insulation installed, desk down, fish tanks moved, Oh yeah, and fix another leak in another tank. A few moments later. And there we go. Wall has been constructed, door has been added. I've moved my desk and everything down here. And well, you can't see it, but the big tank's over there. So this is from the other side. So this is my garage, main part of the fish room's behind there. So I've built this stud wall, put in the door. Never properly insulated and it is like an oven in there and then we go through an actual door which is just a bit of a oh this is all stuff that was left behind big tank over there rest of the fish room and my office and of course obligatory dartboard so that's what i spent my day doing moving all that around with a minimal amount of blood and swearing so next live stream shall be from down here so this will probably be the new live stream location. Um, makes sense to do an aquarium live stream surrounded by aquariums. Uh, very unusual for me, as, as loyal followers will know. But yeah, we'll get this tank filled. Still not sure what to put in there. Obviously this needs to be cleaned up a bit because it's a bit messy behind here, but it's a work in progress. But I think this will work quite well. Got my two, my PC and my server in the corner, generating heat, just adding to the the heat in this room. Um, I'm going to do something with the walls and cover them with something because um, obviously it's a bit me. Yeah, probably do curtains on this side, maybe some kind of shower curtain or something to tart up a bit. But yeah, lots of lots of clean up to do. And there's Mega Tank, still full of water. And outside this door, I've just put like a, a shelving unit here. So whenever I'm packing orders or whatever, I've got all my foods. Aquariumadventures.co.uk And um, you get all the foods, I've got some spares. Uh, loads more to bring down from the offices. Got my camera gear, some of that down. Lenses, tripods, extra cameras, etc. Stuff from projects that I've not quite got around to using yet. Yeah, it's just a little bit more organised. Space for activities. So if this is where I'll be sitting doing my work, this tank, I'm thinking I'm going to bring the discus down here and I'll have the discus in here eventually um, and maybe swap that with Humphrey. So Humphrey's down here, put him up in the house so I see him more often. He's very much interactive. But then again, maybe I'll put Humphrey in there and he can enjoy that big tank and I'll put the discus there. <sighs> Decisions, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you would do. So, but I'll have my desk here and then 
a view of the fish room, which is completely obstructed by all this junk. But basically, I'm going to get rid of this tank altogether and have a straight shot through and to see Mega Tank. And then when I want to have a relaxing sit, I can have a nice comfy chair there to watch what's going on in all the various tanks. And then I get fed up for doing conference calls and things in my office section. And that should work out nicely. But yeah, this tank and this tank, that needs to, that needs to be sorted out. There are practical elements to this as well. This room is now the best insulated room in the entire house. It's a big cold house during winter, it's freezing. If I'm in here working, this room's heated, it's well insulated. I'm not using the heating in the rest of the house, so it's going to be cheaper in the long run. I'm getting to spend time with my hobby as well as work at the same time. The mental health benefits of having fish tanks and things like that. So me having a little area like this, that if I get stressed out and work, I can come, I can just relax chill out with the fish for 10 minutes, it's just so much easier being in here all the time. So as well as hopefully saving me money, it should save me money in here because it's better insulated now so it will be losing less heat. I won't be using heat in the house, it's a constant temperature in here so it's freezing in winter and roasting in summer so it will always be the same temperature if I'm working in here. It should just be better overall and I get to spend time enjoying the fruits of my labour. All too often with a fish room I think you often get into habits of coming down to your fish room to do jobs and I've spoken about this before that if you just spend time in it I think you get a lot more enjoyment out of it and it's so much easier to do all the maintenance tasks and things like that. Because I'll be in here when I have 10 minutes I can wipe down some glass, I can do a bit of a water change, I can do a little bit. When you come down to do jobs it becomes like a chore. Uh, so I'm hoping to remove that element. When I had the office in here before, um, that certainly was my experience, so I'm hoping that will continue. Just really looking forward to spending more time in here. So, just a quick update, I hope that made sense. Um, it doesn't look like I've done much, but it's been busy, busy, busy. Absolutely shattered. Um, if you're watching this and the day it comes out, I'll see you tonight at 9pm UK time. Do the live stream. We'll do it from in here. Technical difficulties permitting. If not, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!